This is a new Calvin Klein marketing campaign. It's a billboard. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude, but, but this is a, well, it's a, a large woman, um, apparently named Chika, C-H-I-K-A, uh, an, an indie rapper, it seems. And she's sitting there in her underpants, and the message says on the billboard, it says, I speak my truth in my, in my Calvins. I speak my truth in my Calvins. Which, first of all, if you are going to speak your truth, do you need to do it in your Calvins? It's okay to have your Calvins on, but can you also wear red pants? <clears throat> I mean, do you need to speak your truth in your underwear? I don't understand that. Why do you need to have your underwear on? I mean, it's okay to have it on. That's good. But you could also have clothes over top it is what I'm trying to say. Um, and all, all I'm going to say here, and I could go in the direction of how this is the normalization of morbid obesity, uh, which is a continued problem in our society. And it is dangerous because uh, morbid obesity is, is, it will kill you. And it's not a good or healthy thing. It doesn't mean that if you're morbidly obese, doesn't mean that you're a bad person or, or, you know, or anything like that. It just, it's just, it's an unhealthy physical condition. And so we shouldn't go out of our way to normalize it or to celebrate it. I think that's a very reasonable point of view that some of us have been trying to express for a while now. But I'm going to leave that aside. What I just want to say briefly is that the phrase, speak my truth, is terribly, terribly stupid. And if I could ban one phrase from being spoken, that would probably be it. It would either be that or the, the term clap back, which you see even in headlines now. So-and-so claps back at critics. Really terrible. Um, but uh, speak my truth is even worse for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, it's, it's just it's cliched and nonsensical and vapid and shallow and, and dumb. Um, secondarily, th there is no such thing as my truth. If you're speaking, if you're saying something, you're either saying something that is true or it isn't. I think every thought expressed in the human language, in any human language, is either true or not. There is no my in front of it. It is either the truth or even a truth or it's not or you could be you could be lying you could be mistaken you could be deluded whatever there's a you you could be wrong for any number of reasons but it's either wrong or it's right you don't own the truth so there could never be a scenario where you say okay well that's that's not the truth but it is my truth see that's just another way of saying i'm wrong if you're drawing a distinction between the truth and your truth, and you're noticing that your truth is at op in opposition with the truth, then you're, that's just, you're wrong. That is a very convoluted and long and, and confusing way of saying, I'm wrong. So there is no my truth. That's all. Not going to linger on it. Just wanted to establish that. Thank you for tuning in to The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative uh, outlets in the entire country. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and then subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.